Hey guys, what's up? It's Max Imagination here. In this week's video, I'm very excited to show you how to make a solar powered boat that cleans the surface of your pool or jacuzzi, in my case. And it can clean anything from bugs to leaves and any other dirt that's floating on the surface of your water. So if you're interested, let's get started. Start by gluing two of your peanut jars together. Then repeat this process. Now glue your 32 by 5 pieces of cardboard onto your bottles. Take your sieve and then cut any pieces that stick out including the handle and the little knob. Now let's make a couple of hooks that hold the sif in place. You'll see what I mean a bit later. Then slice a couple of notches on the plastic parts of our sif and make sure the two cuts are in parallel with each other across the sieve. These notches allow these metal hooks to slide into place. Then secure these newly made metal hooks onto the plastic bottles. Flip your raft upside down, then break a couple of popsicle sticks in half, and then glue these pieces to the bottom of our boat. This makes the structure more solid. Alright, so this is how the boat looks like so far. As you can see, you already got the net in place and everything else here. Next step is to mount the solar on and the DC motors. Let's do that. But before we mount all that on, we gotta make the base that the solar panels sit on. So this is like the roof of the boat. We're gonna take a couple of 22 and a half by three centimeter pieces and glue them onto the back of the 14 and a half by 14 and a half piece and take the 25 and a half by three centimeter piece and glue it onto the 14 and a half by 14 and a half piece. Then you're gonna glue all these on to the raft itself. As you can see here, these legs are a bit too wobbly, so we gotta glue some cardboard onto the insides for some support. Hey guys, just if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification bell not to miss my new videos. Okay, let's get back to the video. Now you're gonna take your four solar panels and we're gonna solder some wires together onto it. Take some short pieces of wire, got four of them, black wires, and you're gonna solder all the positive contacts together in a square, just like that. And then you're gonna take some other wire and connect up all the negative contacts. Next, you're going to attach two pairs of wires, which will allow the solar panels to connect up with the motors. Don't glue the solar panels to the roof yet. You have to make sure that everything down below here, which we're about to do, including the DC motors and the switch, works. Locate a positive end from each pair and then tie it to one of the contacts on the switch. Attach a negative wire from one motor and the positive wire from another motor and then connect them together then solder them to the other contact on the switch. Then take your remaining wire from the solar panels, which, is, which are the uh, negative wires, and attach them to the uh, remaining wires from the motors.
Now let's make the propellers. Yay, now we're done building our solar powered pool cleaner boat. Let's go test it out. The best times to leave your boat running out in your pool is between 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. That's when the sun is at its highest, and that's when the boat can receive its most energy. Tilting the sieve at a 45 degree angle will allow more things to flow in without coming out. I even attached some zip ties to strengthen it. Okay guys, that is it for this week's video showing you how to make a solar powered pool cleaner boat uh, from some very basic materials and if you enjoyed it, be sure to like this video, comment down your thoughts about this thing and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet. Thanks for watching guys, stay tuned. See you next week. Peace.